Well, hello there, YouTube. Glad you could tune in. <laughs> Got a game of Search and Destroy here on Underpants for you today, or Underpass. And uh, first thing I want to say about this video, this is an extremely old game. I just found it on my hard drive. Somehow it had gotten overlooked as I get the Bomb Down Challenge. This was right after I uh, had prestiged to my 10th prestige. I think I'm a level 30 something maybe. I don't know. You guys can see it when the when the screen pops up there. But uh, it was a pretty good game of search and destroy and uh, it just got overlooked somehow. I don't know. Maybe I tucked it aside for some kind of special reason but uh, I was cleaning up my hard drive a little bit and noticed it and I figured well no sense in trashing it. Let's do a commentary over it. But uh, I apologize for not getting this video up yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you guys have really paid attention to it or not. I've been trying my best to upload a video at the beginning of the week, usually on Monday, and one towards the end of the week, like on Friday. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, my schedule's been a little bit crazy here lately, and I've had things to do and people to see and places to go and, and all that kind of good stuff. And and video making kind of gets put on the back burner at times like that but uh... this game here like I say it was a pretty old game and I remember playing this one because this was one of the few times that I was not on friends only uh... generally and I don't know if you guys really know that or not if you ever see me in a game and you speak to me I'm probably not going to hear you because I'm generally on friends only communications and uh, I don't know, I probably shouldn't be. I'm probably missing out on all the lovely chatter that is Xbox Live by doing that. But I don't know, so many people talk so much trash in games. And that just gets me all riled up and, and I start arguing back. And, and that's just not something I want to do. So it's much easier to just stay on friends only communication and not give in to all that. But this particular game... For some reason, I was not on, on friends-only communications, and the other team was quite talkative at the begin beginning of this game. Naturally, us being 10th Prestige players, they were giving us a lot of shit, accusing us of being hackers and modders. And uh, it's, it's really a shame that there's so much of that going on. All the 10th Prestige lobbies, um, I actually get a lot of messages sent to me on YouTube asking me to get them into a 10th prestige lobby guys I did not do a 10th prestige lobby I played the game um, I have a video up somewhere on my channel showing me pressing the button from 9th prestige to 10th and showing all my stats at the time and uh, I was around 17 days played I think to get to 10th prestige and uh, there's just so many people now that are our 10th and 9th prestige that is hard to tell sometimes the legit players from the non-legit players and it's, it's kind of a shame but uh, I really hope when Black Ops comes out that Triarch goes back to the lobby leaderboard system I really enjoyed that in World at War we just recently played a few games of World at War and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be posting some World at War gameplay here on the channel pretty soon and maybe even some to Machinima. I don't know. Do you guys think that would do well on Machinima? Um, you know, everybody wants to see new games, different games. But then I look at the numbers. Since I'm doing the Machinima thing, I look at the numbers of views. And I'm still kind of confused about my own channel when it comes to, to view count. Um, like as of today when I'm making this video, I think I have 12,500 subscribers-ish, something like that. And out of 12,000 subscribers, my videos only get about 2,000 views, usually. And that kind of puzzles me. I would think with 12,000 subscribers, wouldn't you think there would be at least about maybe 6,000 views? Half, half of the subscribers would watch the videos? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts on that in the comments below. I, I'm curious to know what makes you guys watch certain videos and others you don't is it uh, is it the gameplay is it the type of game um, 
back to my thoughts on the Machinima thing. I posted up a Call of Duty 4 game on Machinima and nobody watched it. Just nobody cared. And uh, compare that to the Modern Warfare 2 game, you know, it gets views. And uh, I understand so many people are tired of watching Modern Warfare 2 games. I, I can get a little bit tired of it myself at times, and it takes something a little extra special to come along sometimes to catch your attention. But uh, I don't know. It's it's funny. Maybe you guys can give me some some tips on what to do to get get a little more interest. Not just only on Machinima, but my channel here. Um, you know, I want you guys to watch what I put out and if there's 12,000 of you I would hope 12,000 of you would watch what I upload but it doesn't seem like that's happening and uh, I was just kinda curious as to as to why that is the case um, if uh, there are some other game types you'd like to see let me know I know I do tend to play a lot of demolition and search and destroy and that's just because those are my favorite game types I I feel like they're extremely competitive and I have no idea how I got killed right there. I really thought I had the drop on that guy as he was coming through the door but I guess that just kind of shows you how powerful the Akimbo Rangers really are. But that is the last time I die in this particular game. So, um, yeah, the, the other team, well, they were being quite, quite vocal right here. Uh, they diffused on us, and uh, we had some guys left alive, but they just couldn't couldn't kill the guy defusing the bomb. So here again, the other team was being uh, being a little mouthy, <laughs> but uh, you know I didn't give in to it. I just kind of let my play speak for myself here, and uh, it, it's kind of interesting at the beginning. I mean, at the end of this game, uh, what they said to me. But uh, yeah, um, I know I'm kind of jumping around from topic to topic. And I know I kind of do that often. It's kind of a bad habit. It really is. Oh, there I am. I rank up. It's been a long time since I heard that. Well, at least on here. I was actually playing on PS3 a little recently. Um, just trying to finish ranking up to that. I am a level 70 now, finally, on PS3. Um, I'll have a few PS3 games to upload here pretty soon. Uh... I know in a lot of my older videos when I used to have the green rotating star as my uh, as my emblem, a lot of people always wanted to know how you got that. And I'm sure many of you know by now it's by getting the ultimate sacrifice challenge. And that is nuking a team while losing. And it's actually one of the harder emblems to get. Because generally if you're doing well enough that you can get a nuke, that usually means you're going to win the game. So it's kind of hard to actually nuke a team while losing. But uh, I finally got that on the PS3. And uh, basically I just went into a domination game and ignored all the objectives. And just played like a selfish, ba selfish bastard, you know. <laughs> but uh, I did it with the intent of getting a nuke. So in that respect, you know, I plan to win the game anyway, so... I'm going to show that to you and show you guys how to get the ultimate sacrifice challenge done. And uh, this game here is just about over. I know I've bounced around from subject to subject. But uh, I look forward to hearing some of your feedback on what you guys would like to see from my channel here. Um, what would interest you more? You know, different game types, different games. Uh, keep in mind, I'm still a Call of Duty player at heart. Uh, I love Call of Duty. Uh, would you like to see some older Call of Duty games? I mentioned having the World at War games. I'm going to post some of those. Would you like to see some more Call of Duty 4? And uh, how about some Call of Duty 2? Would you like to see some Call of Duty 2? I have uh, I have that game still, and I still enjoy playing it from time to time. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that, everybody. And this game is over. I end up going 15 kills and the two deaths there as we win four rounds to two. And uh, the other team, I believe the quote was, that rock kid, he's pretty good. <laughs> it's nice being called a kid again, huh? All right, guys, have a good one.